All right, ladies, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Give me one second. I have people trying to call me, people trying to text me. So give me one second. find let me let my husband know too Him. Problem is, if you don't let people know, all right, so that's that. All right, you should be able to see the uh, angel. Okay, so let me pull up my Facebook page here, real quick. So I can see, so I can see what you're seeing, okay? All right, so, all right. I'm not sure who's gonna be joining. Look, I'm trying to turn that. It's a little warm in here today. I have the air on, I'm not sure why it's warm. Let me get some paper towels. So this is what you're gonna be painting today. It's a um, angel on canvas. We're gonna be using um, scrapers. Um, I think they're from plaid or deco art. I'm not sure where, but it usually comes three in a package. I'm not sure where the smaller ones are. There's this size, large, medium, and then there's a the smaller one. I couldn't tell you where the small one is right now with moving. Um, God knows they could be anywhere. So I'm going to be using the medium one. I'm not going to use a large one. Okay. So they're metal. Maybe they have the name on them. It's an eight centimeter. Okay, reminds me of a, um, one of those knives you use for spackling on the wall, only it has a plastic handle. It, it's not, you know, like a spackle knife. Okay, so this is how, this is what we're going to use along with the chalk paint to get the background for the angel. Okay, I'm going to move that up just a tad. Move that over. I hope you guys can see me. I don't want to turn the volume up because if I turn the volume up, then I get an echo, okay? All right. So I sent everybody a, um, a list. So this is um, white Anirondack. You can use white or you can just use the white Anirondack. It's home decor chalk paint from, home, uh, home, from Folk Art, home decor chalk paint, okay? Now, I will tell you, when this sits for a while, just like any kind of chalk paint does, it starts to harden up a little bit. So I noticed, and if it has an odor to it, don't freak out. That's just what chalk paint does, because it's the uh, stuff that they add to it. But you do want to stir it up, okay, because it's been sitting for a while. A lot of chalk paint you can shake, but this is really, really thick, okay? Just see how thick that is, all right? So there's my white, and here's my castle. Now the castle I can shake a little bit. So these are the two chalk paints that we're gonna use. They're both from Folk Art, Home Decor chalk paint. One is castle, one is white and Rondack. If you only got white, it's okay, it's not a big deal. All right, so I'm gonna put this up here. Well, actually, I'm gonna put it over here so you can maybe see some of it, I don't know. I'm going to switch sides here. I'm going to throw my apron on. I'm not sure how some ladies can paint without having a paint smock or an apron on because I end up wearing all of my paint. A little bit of background music going on low, so just hang tight.
music. Hang tight a second. There we go. Alrighty. Turn it down just a little bit. Because if the music is playing too loud on Facebook, then they'll ban your video. I need a little bit of background music here. It's quiet. Alrighty. Now we can get started. Okay. So you should have, like I said before, your folk art home decor chalk paint in white Anirondack and also in Castle. All right. So this is your plain board that you're going to be painting on, uh, canvas. Now, um, you can either use a 12 by 12 wood panel or, um, or canvas okay I chose to do it on a canvas and I'm going to tell you you can't do this technique in the multimedia uh, book that some of you may have been using technique it has to be it has to be a, a canvas or wood okay so what I'm going to do is I am going to scoop out with my palette knife some of the white and then you'll see how thick this is See how thick that is? It's kind of like spackle, but it's not spackle. All right, so there's my white. Okay, put the lid back on this so it doesn't dry out. Because you know, you can see in the lid, it's dried out there. Oops, let's get this a little bit off of here. All right, so you're gonna do the white. Then you are going to put out your castle. Now the castle isn't this thick. I don't know if it's because one's a jar and one's a bottle. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe off my palette knife. Now you don't mix these colors. Okay. You don't want to mix them on the palette. You want to leave them like that. Okay. Then what you're going to do. Now, after this video is gone live, after I'm done taping, okay, if you have any questions, just comment in the video, okay, because this video will always be there for you, all right? Just comment, oops, comment in the video. Okay, so. Okay. So you're going to take it, you're going to put some of the white on your palette, some of the gray on your palette, and what you're going to do is you're going to pull. So you're scraping. So what you're doing is you're getting your background. Okay, now there's a lump in there, so you don't want lumps. If you feel lumps, take them out, okay? So all you're going to do is pull. If you want more gray, then you're going to add some gray. I will tell you this is going to take a couple minutes to dry, all right? You also want to make sure that you get your sides, all right? But I'm going to do my front first, and then I'm going to add a little more gray. Because I like, I like the, the more gray. See how I'm pulling? I'm laying it down. I'm not doing it real hard to where I'm scraping it off the canvas. So it's a light scrape. Okay? You see, how I'm, see how I'm going across and it looks different? 
because you don't want it all to look the same. All right, someone else from Florida is trying to call me. Probably. Deb, so they're going to have to wait till I'm done taping. Actually, you know what? I am going to put a note on my Coastal Strokes site real quick. Let people know that I'm live in the call house. page just when you think you got all the kinks worked out something else happens all right so I put messages out there if anybody needs me they can message me and I'll get with them when I'm done teaching okay even though you guys aren't here live yet all right so see how I'm scraping now I don't like it's all white on that side so I'm gonna pick up some more gray and you can work this, this takes about 30 minutes, okay? It's workable. Now I am going to do my sides. So it's just the same concept you're gonna scrape. Now this make it a little messy for you. Make sure you have some paper towels, okay? My finger itches, I don't know if the bug got me today. All right. But anyhow, you want to make sure you scrape your sides. Okay. Now it's easier to go towards you than it is away from you. But sometimes you do have to go up a little bit to get it. All right, so that's that. And you're going to do your other side some gray again now you may have to go back and do a couple of your other sides because you're not gonna be able to do all four sides right now okay I'm just gonna tell you because then it's gonna be wet and you're not gonna be able to pick anything up all right so I'm just gonna do two of my sides for now then when it dries I'll go back and do the other two okay so I'm just touching them and if push comes to shove you can always go back with a little paintbrush and and fudge it a little bit, okay? You don't have to be perfect. Now see, I already got paint on me, and we just started. Have my nails done today, wanted them to be beautiful. While I was teaching, because you couldn't see me, so I thought, oh, I'll get my nails done. <laughs> so I hope you all are doing well. Are you making out during the virus? I'm gonna add some more gray over here. I'm just going to go over the edge. Now this does have to dry, like I said, and it's going to take a couple minutes. It's not going to be like a quick thing. Okay. So you can use, if you want a hair dryer. I'm just going to do this. And you really can't do this on an easel. You're better off when you use a scraper. You're better off um, having it laying down. Okay, right, so I'm going to go back and pick up a little bit more. I mean, you, you can see some canvas through it, but you don't want to see a lot of it through it, okay? All right, so I think I'm quite happy with that, all right? So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to grab my hair dryer to speed up the process. And if you're painting along with me, I would suggest um, you doing the same thing. So I'm gonna grab a hair dryer. I am finished with this, okay? Now you might wanna scoop some of the white back up and put it in there, or just throw it away, whatever is easier for you. 
but I'm gonna put this off to the side for later. I'm not gonna clean up now. Make sure that you have a piece of chalk. Okay, I think I left out chalk and um, palette knife when I sent out the list. Also, Dawn had said she, she never got the list, but I had her correct email address. If for some reason, when I, when I go on, now I think the first two classes, I just gave you the list verbally on the Facebook page, the Clubhouse page. I don't think I sent down a list. I'm trying to remember by memory. Um, remember by memory. So I don't think I sent down a list on the first two, two pictures. The fishing lure, I can't remember what else I thought. But anyhow, um, this class I did send out the list. I did forget the chalk and the uh, palette knife. So that's what you're gonna need. But Dawn had said she'd never gotten it, but I did have her correct email address. So I'm not sure why she never got the email, okay? So your email is always gonna, the first time I did it, it came from Craftaholic. But for now, for, for going forward, this class and going forward, all the emails are going to be coming from my Coastal Strokes face, um, email address, okay? So any emails that I send for classes or any correspondence is definitely going to be coming from coastalstrokes at gmail.com, okay? If any time during this video that you're watching and you have any questions, just post your comments on this video, okay? And as soon as I see them, I will respond to you okay all right so we're gonna let this dry I really think I'm gonna need a hair dryer so let me grab a hair dryer all right because we're gonna draw our design next so let me grab a hair dryer So more than likely, all the classes when I teach, you're only going to see an aerial view. You're not going to see a, um, my face, okay? When I go live to talk to everybody, like on Coastal Strokes or on my Coastal Strokes painting group, you'll see my face, okay? But on the, um, on the classes in the clubhouse, you're never gonna see my face, all right? Because I wanna get an overhead shot and I think this is pretty good until I get my Logitech fixed. So I'm gonna turn the hair dryer on. And you'll know it's dry because all the shininess will be away. It won't be shiny anymore, okay? Don't hold it real close. You don't want to get down on it. You want to stay back a little bit. Because if you get on it real close, it'll, the chances are it's going to crackle on you. And if you want to crackle, look, sure, you can do that. But if you don't want to crackle, look, you want to keep it up a little bit, all right? This is actually a Donna Dewberry uh, One Stroke Angel. Um, I named it Angel of Hope. Not sure what she named it. But I will also be teaching this at the studio. I've had a couple of people ask me. had my um, my crown fixed so that's back on uh, right now I have my temporary not the same color so I'm not real happy about it but you know what it's okay eventually it'll be 
you know, the good one. All right, this is almost dry enough. There's still a lot of shininess. If you make it too thick, it's going to take forever to dry, okay? So if you're painting along with me, which I don't think anyone is, You can do this also on a larger canvas, okay? Like a 16 by 14, you know, a long one. You could do that and make her bigger and longer. I just wanted to do it on a 12 by 12. All right, let's see. I at least want to get the, the center of it dry. So we're going to turn that off. Now, as far as palette knives go, I still have my palette knife from, God, 12, 15, let's say I've been in Florida, 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago when I did uh, palette knife classes, when I was taking lessons, okay? So I still have my palette knife, because I still probably got oil paint on it, but it's all dried up. It's not coming off. All right, so this is, and I think it still has an AC Moore, yep, AC Moore sticker on it. So that's, that's definitely an old sticker. So anyhow, you can use a metal palette knife, okay? Or you can go to the Dollar Tree has the palette knives, or you can go to um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and they sell the plastic ones. Now, there are five of these in here for $3.99. I bought these for the class because, you know, $3.99, and then you get 40% off. So you can't beat that. And there's different kinds on there, and more than likely, there's at least three... Three out of the five that would be used in the palette knife class, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're plastic, okay? And like I said, they sell them at um, Dollar Tree. Now, see, my metal one is the same shape as this one white plastic one, okay? So if you if you get these at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, four bucks, 40% 40, 40 off, it's $1.60 off. $4, $2, so yeah, so it's, it's cheaper to get it in a pack, but if you want a metal one, you you, you want to, you know, get a, a metal one, all right? Okay, now, I grabbed a piece of chalk, so you're going to need a piece of white chalk. One good thing about having my own studio because if I miss grabbing a supply, all I have to do is get out of the chair and walk over and grab it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, are you going to take your chalk. I teach a lot with chalk, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your chalk, and you are going to, you want to go towards the top, but you don't want to go all the way at the top, and you want to draw a circle. This is going to be her head, okay? All right, then what you're going to do is, let's see, you're going to do a round head, and then you're going to arch, but you're only going to do the arch of the wings, okay? And the arch of the wings, actually my head's probably bigger than it should be. So the arch of my wings are going to be like from the neck. You're not going to see this because you're going to paint, but they're going to come up higher. So all you're going to do is look at the arch. Okay, so the arch is, is higher than the circle that you put on here, okay? I really think that's kind of big. Let's see. Let's wipe this off. We need to come out more on that side. I am going to make my head just a tad smaller, okay? Because her head was really, really big. Because I still have to put the halo and her hair and all in here, okay? 
I'm just wondering if I should drop it just a little bit. Let's see. No, I think that's good. But see how I have her head here? And I went up a little bit. Because what's going to happen is you're going to be putting the hair and then the halo. All right. And you can play with this. All righty. Then what you're going to do is you are going to put out some coffee latte, which is number 2559, folk art. You have to use folk art paint. If I don't tell you to use folk art paint, you can use any kind of paint you want, but there's certain projects you really need folk art paint. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put out some coffee latte, and then you're going to put out some wicker white, uh, number 901. That sounds a little watery. Let's mix that again. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your number 12 flat brush. Okay, let me find my number 12 flat. Let's see, what is this? This is my number 12 flat. You're going to mix it until you get a skin tone color that you like. Okay. So you didn't need to get any flesh tone or anything because you're going to make your own color. Okay. Depending on what color skin tone you want. All right. This is just going to be for the neck, the face and the neck. We haven't put the neck in yet. Okay. All right, so we're going to go in and we're going to base coat the head. Now this may take another coat because I could see through. That's okay, we'll come back and take care of that. Then you're going to come right underneath and do a neck. Okay, and don't worry about, um, don't worry about if it's not squared up enough because we're going to do a, a, the dress in the front, the angel's dress. Okay, so there is my head. I don't think I'm going to need another coat. I think I'll be okay. All right, so that's my head. We're going to let that dry. Okay, now I got a lot of paint. I didn't even need all that paint. So try not to put a lot of paint out, okay? All right, so there's my head. I'm going to rinse that brush out. Now this is where we're going to do, with the palette knife, we're going to do the wings, okay? Now that's still a little wet, it got stuck on there, so give me one second. Yeah, that's a little wet, so we're going to have to wait a couple minutes. Okay, so this is where you're going to want to get that chalk white back. Because the chalk, the chalk paint and the white is what you're going to use to do the um, wings, okay? So you're going to pick up some of the white chalk paint. You're going to come in. You're going to come around. You're going to shape the wings. Don't worry about getting really close to her face. Because her hair is going to go there. Okay, so you're just going to pull it back and forth. So it's going to give it texture. Okay. So I'm going to shape the wing first, shape the top. If everybody can see this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag it down. Oh, I see this is backwards. I just noticed that. I'm on the right side, but it's showing me on the left side. I am not a left-handed painter. Patricia is, though. So I guess 
because I flipped the camera. I flipped the screen and said the camera. I have to remember next time to do it the other way. You can drag this down. And make sure that this is dry when you do this, okay? If your palette is still wet, you know, your, your canvas, you might want to wait, okay? And then you just pull it down until you run out of paint. Because you don't want it perfect, okay? You don't want the wings to be perfect. You do want them to be, you know, thicker. Okay, you want them to be textured. You can't see the texture on here, but yeah, you want it to be textured. And then as you pick up, I think I'm teaching with the thing in the way. Oh, there's a, a little buggy, not a buggy, a piece of um. You know, that's too perfect. You don't want it perfect. All right, so that's one side. Okay. Now, I don't like this arch. I'm going to arch this a little more. Okay. And it's okay if you see some of the canvas through it, okay? It's all right. Now, I'm going to do the other side. Here. Gonna follow my chalk. Come over next to her head. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get some more because I have too much of the tan cut, the gray color in here. I'm going to be doing more and more with palette knife, okay? And see how you can rock it back and forth. Also be doing a demo with a palette knife on my page, on my uh, painting page for those that aren't in the clubhouse can see so I can promote the clubhouse. If you have any friends or family members that want to learn how to paint and they want to join online, just tell them to go to coastalstrokes.com click on the clubhouse tab and they'll be able to join okay that would be greatly appreciated if you could do that I'm trying to get my attendance up more okay be great to have a lot more people all right so I am going to pick up right out of the jar and put on my palette because I ran out of white on my palette from earlier, remember when we did the scraping? I ran out, so I have to go get more white. There we go. I hope you can see the texture. It's just like spackling. So you don't want it flat, you want it to have some texture. Okay. And the dress, her dress is going like up to the edge and over just a little bit, okay? I do want to do a class with just angel wings and a palette knife. I think that would be cool. I keep wanting to put this plate in the way. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep the plate out of the way. See how you pull it down? And it's okay. You don't you don't want it to be perfect. Okay, you want it to be messy looking. Okay. Now this wing over here is a little wider than that one. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna make this one a little wider. 
Just a little, not much. Take it this way. There we go. Now remember, this is thicker, so this is going to take longer to dry. So you may need a um, hair dryer again. Okay. So that's the wings for now. We're going to go back when everything dries and we're going to add some gold through the background and then we're going to add gold on the um, wings. Let me see if I can get this off. I got a little bit of chalk paint. See? <laughs> I don't know how women do it. I don't know how they go live and not get paint all over them. Because goodness knows I do. but I don't want paint all over me either. All right, so I hope you've liked this so far. I'm having fun. All right, so let me get some of this gray off of this palette knife. I just saw something. Let's see. that so that's what I wanted to do yeah I got a little bit of that Let's see if I can fix this I got a little bit of white paint all by itself there so I'm just gonna try and Get this mixed in a little bit. Now, if you don't have the scrapers, okay, you can do the same thing with a palette knife. It, it would just take you longer, okay? I don't want you to think you got to go out and buy. If you already have a palette knife, you can do this whole thing like I did with the scraper earlier, okay? So don't. I don't think you gotta run out and buy everything I show you. Sometimes we can improvise. There we go. A little more white. I get the blend a little more. I had what happened was I had chalk paint on my finger and I stuck it down and I got chalk paint in a spot that I really didn't need it in. You can see how I'm doing this here. You do the whole thing like that. But you don't want that too white because then it's going to look like the wing. So you need that. There we go. That's better. Let's see if I can get some of this gray. So have fun with it. If you want to try to do the whole background with a palette knife, go ahead. Otherwise, you can pick up the three pack of scrapers. I think they're deco art, but I'm not sure. They're either deco art or folk art. Um, I really didn't have time to go online and look, and my packaging, you know, is gone, of course. I took them all out of the package before I moved, so um, I, I can't see, okay? All right, so let's see. We're going to let that dry for a couple minutes. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back and do another coat of the cream of the um, of the head, okay? So I'm going to mix this up again. Get my number 12 flat brush. color maybe a little more white to get the skin tone okay so we haven't done too bad we got the, the scraping done on the background <laughs> uh, we put the wings on with the palette knife and the chalk paint 
and we and we base coated the head but I just want to do another coat on my head okay because I want it a little I really don't want it just one coat and then I'm going to put my little neck here okay and then when you're done you can go ahead and rinse that brush out all right Let that dry for a couple minutes and don't forget your paper towels okay I go through a lot of paper towels so this is a fun little project um, these will make great gifts you could get the uh, even the skinny tall canvases you may be able to, you can even do this on wood. So if you have a piece of barn wood and you want to do this at Christmas time for gifts, I'm probably going to have these in the studio and online for sale. Okay. Um, I think this would be great at Christmas time. All right. All right. So let's see. That's still wet. All right. Let's see. What's next? Hang tight with me. Hang tight. Let me see. All right, so yellow ochre is the next color, and that's going to be for the dress, okay? And we're still going to use the 12 flat, all right? So we're done with that. We're done with that. We've used that. I'm just trying to put the paints up there so you can see. Maybe I should slide this up a little bit. flat, which I just had in my hand. You know what, I think I'm going to get the hair dryer and dry this just a little bit, because when I do the dress, I'm going to be coming along the edge there, and I really don't want to mix this up. I'm just more concerned about, um, I'm going to show you with the palette knife, I'm just more concerned about the edge of the wings because they're so thick, I wanted to dry them, okay? So what I'm going to do now is take my number 12, I'm going to load it up with the, make sure you pick up a lot of paint, and you're going to come here right under the head, under the neck, and come up. You're gonna pull this down until you run out of paint. Just like you did with the wings, okay? So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna round it a little bit, give her some shoulders, and then pull it down. Okay, and then you're gonna fill it in and you're gonna pull it down. So you're going right up alongside of the wings. You can overlap them a little bit, just don't overlap them a whole lot, okay? You're going to pull down because you don't want that to be perfect either you want it to be you know a little straggly looking at the bottom okay we'll 
probably have to do another coat on this. Maybe not. Definitely gonna have to dry before we'll put the arms in though. Is perfect. It's okay. Pull it up. I don't know if you can see. My sides are probably still wet. See how the ends, you don't want them even. Okay, you want them. You don't want them uh, even at the bottom. Okay. You want, um, you want to drag it uneven, you know, for the best look. Okay, I'm hoping that this is good for you to see. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna pull it back down. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. that brush out. All right, so it's coffee latte. Yes, yeah, see, you can't see the ends of that. Let me take it back a little. Let's see how if you can see it this way. Turn it this way and you can see it, because I can see it in a camera. See how it's not even? That's what you want, okay? So Dawn was here on here the other day and she thought this was a good distance to so you could see. Okay. I don't want to be too far away because I want you to be able to see. All right now. There you go. I'm looking at myself now showing you how it's not even on the bottom. Okay, because that's what you want. You want it to be not even. Okay. Where are we at now? What else do we have to do? So we have to wait for the dress to dry before we can do the detail. So when we do the hair, okay, when we do the hair, you're gonna use a script liner. So as long as you got that packet of brushes I suggested that you get, you should have had a script liner, okay? That should be a number two script liner in that package. Let's see if I find one. That's a number one liner. Oh, number two. Now the one I'm going to be using, well, no. Let's see. I got my brush in my mouth. Sorry, guys. Oh, because mine broke. Whoop, the handle broke. you go to do the hair you're going to use some burnt sienna Anytime you use um, the folk art paint and a liner, you want to thin your paint down a little bit. So you're going to thin down your, your burnt sienna, and then you're going to thin down your yellow ochre a little bit. You just do that with some water going into your paint, okay? And 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to do like little waves, okay? So I'm going to pick up some inky yellow and some burnt sienna. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top of her head. You have to be careful because you want this to be dry because as soon as you put your finger down, it's going to pick it up, okay? So be careful. And you want it to go over. Now my hair is probably going to be curlier than it was the last time. And I'm going to start at the top. Okay, pick up some yellow. And you make it as thick as you want it, okay? But the object is you want to cover as much as you can coming down. Now we still have to go back and sh uh, shade take off my chalk. I have to go back and shade, but I can't do that yet because, well actually, you know what, let's do that now. The face should be dry. Sorry about that, guys. Give me one second here. So when you shade, you're going to use a number 12 flat, which is the one we've been using on the face. You're going to pick up a little bit of the coffee latte, which I probably have enough out. I do. Okay. But you're just going to pick it up on the corner of your brush. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to come in shade give her the bottom of her face like her chin okay and you don't have to worry about the sides of her neck all right but you do want to come in and you want to shade the top of the dress so you see a separation between the dress I'm gonna have to turn this guy sorry I'm going to tell you, I painted this last year, and this mustard color, it's very close to this coffee latte. All right, so I'm going to do her, I turned it upside down. I'm going to do her, her next to her dress first, okay, and then I'm going to do her face. Because it's not dry and it's going to lift it. If I try to do here first, and then try to do her neck, it's gonna lift that, right? So you can turn it back around. So now you can see the separation between her, her face. And if you wanna give her more of a oval shape, okay, what you can do is you can come in. And just shape it a little different, okay? Instead of doing round. So if you're not happy with that, you can come in. Come back up. See, I think that's kind of long, so I'm not happy with that. So I just want to show you, you can fix it. So what you do is you come in and you wipe that out. Anything's fixable, guys. Okay, just use a little bit of water on your palette. See how I'm taking off that? right there because it's too round I want it more of an oval all right it's one good thing about this you can fix any mistakes don't stress over it okay so there's the hair that's what I want to do I want to make it more oval around there we go all right so we're gonna let her dress dry all right yellow okra all right 
right, so we gotta let her dress dry. I think what I'm gonna do is use the hair dryer a little bit. I just be careful. If you guys are on, let me know you're on. Say hi, okay? It's just the three of you, so I don't know who's on. One of you are on. It's either Dawn, Sherry, or Pat. Just let me know, okay? Now, be careful, because it will crackle a little bit if you put heat on it, okay? But that's okay. It gives it, it looks, you know, it looks really good like that. So, don't stress over it, okay? So, I think what I'm going to do... I am going, I don't understand why that yellow ochre is so dark this time. I mean, if you look at the colors, the yellow ochre is really dark. The first time I did it, it wasn't dark, so I don't know. So, you know what I might do? I might lighten up my little yellow, yellow ochre. I just don't like it really dark like that. So by doing that, all you got to do is mix some yellow ochre with some white. I just want to lighten up my dress a little bit. It's kind of dark. I mean, I'm using the colors that were in the directions from Donna. See, I like this better. So I'm going to do the yellow ochre mixed with white just to lighten a little bit. I think it's too dark. I'm not happy with it that dark, so I'm just lightening it up. Hi, Dawn. How are you, hon? So when you get a chance, go back and re-watch this and talk about, you know, a few things. You're not driving, are you? Because so, sometimes you're watching me and you're driving. <laughs> so I'm just lightening up. I used yellow ochre, the folk art yellow ochre, but compared to last year when I taught this class, this yellow ochre is really, really dark, and I don't like it that dark, so all I did was added some uh, white to it, okay? See if you can, you can see in the picture, because I think I'm ahead of the, what you see right now, but you'll see how much lighter it is. I like the lighter better than the darker. If you like the darker, keep it darker. You don't have to lighten your paint. Just remember, as you're doing this, um, it's not um, it's not solid at the bottom. It's jagged at the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm good. I'm good. I'm hanging in here. I jump on so hopefully can you see okay for some reason I turned my my I turned my phone <laughs> I reversed it so I'm not left-handed but it looks like I'm painting on the left side which is a little odd it's odd for me to see myself painting on the left side but I'll tell you Pat is a left-handed painter no, you can't see me? What? What do you mean no? No what? <laughs> no, no, what do you answer no to? Can you type and let me know what you're answering no to? Because you should be able to see me painting okay. Remember, there's a delay, so I'll give you a minute to answer. Just not sure what you're saying no to because I don't know what I asked you. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not driving. Okay. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Remember I said it's crazy when you go live and you talk to somebody and then you keep talking and then somebody answers you and you're like, oh, my God, what did I ask them? So, yeah, good. I'm glad you're not driving. So I'm just going to flip this to redo the neck. It's just easier, plus my hand won't get in all the paint. It's wet down there. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in.
All right. her chin like that oh god now you're killing me no yes no you're not driving or yes you are driving <laughs> yes you can see me no you can't see me <laughs> yes you can see me woohoo yay high five high five <laughs> and no you're not driving okay that's a good one. All right. So anyhow, when you go back over and watch it from live, yes, I can see you. Um, I went over how to how to work the background, how to put the angel wings on. You know what kind of palette knife to use. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back to the hair. The hair is a mixture of yellow. Um, the hair is a mixture of burnt sienna and some inky yellow. Okay. Good. No, you weren't driving. All right. So I'm going to go back in because I want to get my hair done. Not my hair, but the angel's hair done. And then, you know what's funny? Burnt sienna and yellow okra. My hair has burnt umber. So she's going to be a little redhead here. So I'm going to bring it down over the front of... over the front of her dress. So when you do this, you're doing wavy. You're using the liner. And you're just coming and doing wavy. So you always thin out your paint a little bit because you're using folk art paint, but you want to thin it out a little bit. And you do this as thick as you want it, okay? Now, I am going probably to add some burnt umber in here. I think it's too red because it's kind of going over like her dress. I don't want it to blend with the dress. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of burnt umber. That's number 462. Okay, make sure you shake your paint. I'm going to back this up a little bit. Thin down, Just take some water into the paint with your liner, you go into your paint and thin it down. Okay, see how I'm thinning it? Roll it between your fingers. Okay, all right, so then I'm gonna go back. I just wanna make sure my wings are still wet, guys. That's what happens when you use the uh, chalk paint and a palette knife. Yeah, I like this better. I like the brown mixed in. There we go. So I always use a liner straight up and down. And they're light strokes, okay? They're not really heavy strokes. And I'm just making them wavy. So this is the top of her hair. Because we're also going to be using this to do a little um, crown on our head, okay? But I just needed to add some brown in here. How's the weather, Dawn? Is it is it hot? Now you can do this hair any way you want. You can do it straight. You can do it curly. You do as thick as you want. Now we still have to do the shading. We still have to come in and do the shading on the dress for her sleeves. See? We still have to do the shading for her sleeves. But it's wet, so we have to wait. So that's why I moved on to the hair. Okay? Otherwise we'd be sitting here waiting. 
Alright, so I'm going to come in here. Alright, now that I have some brown, I'm going to go in and pick up some yellow okra all by itself. Okay. So it kind of goes over it. You can always take the burnt umber and mix it with some white. Sunny and hot. I don't know what it is here. I know it's been warm, but I don't think it's that warm. Alright, so I'm going to add another color of brown. So it's just a layering effect, okay? because you have to thin it down if you don't thin it down it's not going to move for you okay it'll stick on the palette So it's just layering different colors so your some of your colors behind it okay if you want it darker pick up darker it's, it's up to you guys it's whatever color you want to do it okay you can do black you can make her hair black you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing if you want to use a bright yellow for more blonde then pick up more bright then get more um, get a bottle of a bright yellow and use it okay I'm just using the colors that Donna Dewberry um, suggested when you teach this because this is a one stroke project. Okay. But you can change the colors. If you don't want her dress this color and you want a blue or you want a pink, a mauve, you go right ahead. Now I do ask that you share whatever you paint. If you could please share it in the clubhouse so others can see how you're doing. You know, everybody paints differently. Please do share. Don't be afraid to share. Okay. Some people have never picked up a brush before. Some people have been painting for a long time. It's okay. We all start somewhere. Okay. Everybody ha it has a creative side to them. They just don't know yet. Okay. Until they do it. All right. Ooh, 88. Ooh, Cochrane. That's hot. All right, so I'm just going to put a little more yellow through here for blonde. And then I'm going to think I'm going to call the hair a day. Okay. All right, so we're going to let that dry, okay? I mean, I could sit and play with this hair all night. And you can also, if you want, add some white in there. To highlight a little bit. Let me pick up some white so you can see what I mean. Okay. Put my finger up here. It changes the whole look of it when you add, start adding another color. Okay. And then you would go back over with some brown because you don't want the white really to stand out. It's okay that you see some of it, but you don't want to see that as the last color, okay? So you want the white to be blending in. Like peeking through. You know how your highlights peek through? That's what you want to do. You want them, you don't want them to really be like in your face. Okay. So there's my hair. Alright, so then what you're gonna do. 
because you are going to pick up. It's okay. You're not. It's not a contest, Dawn. It's okay. You don't have to. You don't have to be caught up to me. Just think, you'll have all that, you know, there for you when you're ready. Okay. No pressure. All right. But just share when you finally do paint. Make sure you share with everybody. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. I just picked up a little bit of white on the corner of my brush. I'm going to go underneath her neckline with the white on the outside. I'm going to pivot just to give her the neck on her dress. Okay. I'm probably going to pull more hair because see how you can see back there. I don't want to see that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in from the neck from under her hair. You can see that's too much paint. You don't want to pick up too much paint because then it'll be too thick. Okay, I'm going to come in and lightly going to put in her sleeves. Now you can use floating medium if you, or you can use um, water. If you use water, you're going to load, load the brush with water. When the shininess goes away, then you dip a corner of it in the white and that's what you use the shade with. Now my yellow in her dress is still wet. And then what I want to do is I want to kind of wave, make it wavy coming up. You see now I don't have enough paint. But that's okay. And it's picking up the gold, so be careful. Now on my other angel, I don't think her sleeves are that ruffly, but I wanted to make it a little ruffly on this one. Okay, and I'm going to come here. That's her sleeve. Come in and pull down. There we go. Yes, please share with the group. Okay. If you share outside the group, just mention um, coastalstrokes.com if anybody wants to join. Okay. I mean, you can share your picture to the painting group. I mean, you can share it to anything you want. The only thing I ask you not to share are the videos, okay? But if you share your picture with any group or on your Facebook page, just mention, um, you know, coastalstrokes.com if anybody wants to join. All right, so here's her sleeve. her other sleeves so there's her sleeves okay and in the middle she holds a heart but we're gonna let that dry we're gonna go back to the hair okay because I want her hair to be longer so I want her hair to be longer and I want it to be a little fuller so I'm gonna come in here yeah I definitely want it to be fuller so I'm just going to play with her hair a little bit. I'm going to keep mixing my colors. There we go. I like the red. I don't know. Kind of, kind of partial, maybe because my hair's brown. I don't know. I mean, I have red highlights in my hair, but I mean, these, this angel can have any color hair you want it to have. I just want to come in and make it a little longer, you know. That's that. I'm going to add some gold because it's kind of lost the whole gold look. And that's why I said earlier you can you can keep playing you can keep playing with this hair forever and just keep layering and layering. But you'll see when you do this, you're going to see the other other colors behind it. 
which is which is what you want okay you don't want all one solid color you want to see some other colors behind it and you'll find that one side you paint you always paint better than the other side that's just how everybody is I feel like this needs to be a little fuller and then some brown over that because it's too dark And you noticed all that white is gone, which is about. Okay. Let me put a little bit of white on here. Just a little bit. I hope you're learning a lot, Dawn, even though you haven't picked up a brush yet. Um, and I said earlier, if you guys have any questions, just comment, um, you know, with any questions on, on this video, okay? And when I see them, then I'll answer them for you, okay? All right, so that's that. I'm gonna leave that alone a second. All right, so I'm gonna go back and do the heart. Now the heart is white, so I'm gonna need more white paint. See, this is crackling, and it's okay for crackles. And the reason why it's crack crackling is because it was very thick, okay? And that's what happens when you use thick paint. It crackles on you. So some of the background on this back here will crackle also. All right, so we're gonna do a heart. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna freehand the heart. I'm gonna put it right over her hands. Now, there are no hands hands showing, okay? It's just a heart. She's just holding a heart in the middle. So you can freehand that, you can use chalk if you want, draw the heart, and then go back in and fill it in. Um, you can get a, if you're going to use one stroke brushes, you can either get them on Amazon. Um, let's see. The number is 1059, okay, it's a pack of one stroke brushes. Any one stroke projects, you want to use one stroke brushes. As far as the other things that I teach you, you can use those packs of brushes from Walmart. Uh, let me see, I'll grab one real quick and show you. I think I have one. Yeah. All right. Anytime it's a folk uh, one stroke project like this, you want to use the number 1059 brushes. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on uh, eBay. You can get them on Donna Dewberry One Stroke page. Um, you can get them anywhere. Okay. You can get. You can probably even get them on Etsy if you if you buy off of Etsy. Okay. And the number is 1059. And I forget. I think. Let me see. I know you get a lot of brushes, a lot of different sizes. You get the uh, flat brush. Um, you get um, the filbert, you get the scruffy, so you get a lot of brushes. The only thing I suggest is if you get the one stroke brushes, you only use them for one stroke. Because of the folk art paint and the way the one stroke brushes are made, they're made to work with the paint for you to do stroke work, okay? Now, if you're not doing a one stroke project and you just wanna use any kind of uh, art brush out there. I'll tell you, I got these at Walmart. They were clearanced. I just bought them the other day. Okay. Um, it just says, brush value pack, free how-to videos, gold tacklon, gold tacklon. It's a 10 piece set. You get a round. You get one, number one, number three, five, seven, nine round, and then you get two, four, six, eight, ten 10 shaders. Okay, this is a good set to get. Okay, 
And then they have another set, which I didn't pick up. And on the back, it tells you what each brush does. Okay, like your round brush is good for broad lines, round areas of stroke work, but it explains each brush, okay, and how to clean them. Now, they also have another pack, which I'm gonna grab the next time I go back and list are out, but the brushes are, are bigger, okay? So they're, they're bigger. Now this is a folk art, this is a folk art one stroke brush, okay? This pack is good for fine and medium lines, blocking color, detailed strokes and sharp edges. But the green handle ones or the folk art brushes, that's what you wanna use for one stroke. I hope I didn't confuse you guys. All right, so there's my heart. And I really don't want it solid. I wanna be able to, it's okay if there's a little bit of gold showing in there. Actually, I might just put a little bit of gold in it. That's what I'm gonna do, because I like it with a little bit of gold. And you just work that through. It doesn't have to be solid white, it's okay, because there you go. All right, oops. Flubbed that up there, messed it up a little bit, okay. All right. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do are her eyes, okay? They're not hard. They're just really, really tiny. All right, so I am gonna use the smaller liner, wherever that little guy went. Where'd it go? Well, let's see, I don't know what I did with it. All right, so this is just gonna be burnt umber all by itself, okay? And you're gonna go in. All she has is eyes. So it's a little, like her eye is closed. Okay, and then you're gonna do little eyelashes coming down. So however big you made her eyes, you're just gonna come in with your liner and make little strokes for eyelashes. Okay. I made that guy a little thick. Let's see if I can get that off. Okay, so I made this one a little thick. Yeah, if I can get it off. Add a little bit of water to the brush. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, guys. But you can clean it up. And then with the eyelashes that thick. Uh, another thing you should have near you, okay, you can get these at Dollar Tree. It's the um, Q-tips. One has a pointy end and one has a round end. And I use the pointy ends a lot. So you're going to wet them a little bit and then you can come in and get your little smudge off. Okay, I didn't want, um, move that down, I didn't want the eyelashes that thick. This is why you need a thinner brush. And you're just gonna come in, I'm gonna pull them down. All right, now I'm gonna do the other side. One day I'll teach faces. I'm not real fond of faces. So let's see, let me do these. All right, so there's her eyelashes. Now her eyes are much bigger on this one than my other one, okay? But that's okay, it doesn't have to be the same. It's, you know, it's a different painting. You'll find that every time you paint something, it's gonna be different, it's not gonna be the same. All right, so 
We did the shading on our arms. I'm still not happy with this hair. So I'm going to play with my hair a little bit more. All right, so that's that. All right, now the next thing is you should have some kind of gold. I have pure gold 660. Okay, it's a metallic. It's from Folk Art. All right. And this gold is going to be used for a couple things. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our liner. And you are going to put a halo on her. Now, it's not a circle. It's more of an oval. All right. All right, so my brush is loaded. So I'm going to come above her head. Do like a half circle, but it's not really a circle. I'm going to pick up more paint and I'm going to come back over the top of her head and put an oval in, okay? All right, so there's her halo. All right, we're going to let that dry because under that is going to be a a wreath on her head, like a, um, you know, like a wreath that you do flower arranging on. Okay, here, I'll show you. See the wreath? Now the wreath's not going around her whole head, it's only going from one side to the next. Okay, so here's the oval. It's above her hair, okay? And then when that dries, we're going to come in and we're going to do the wreath going across. All right, while we're waiting, we are going to take our palette knife okay we're going to pick up a little bit of gold paint and we are going to go through all right we're just going to pull some gold through what we've already done just to add some shimmer to it okay so it's just a little bit all right And then you're going to spread it through. And all it's doing is adding a little bit of shimmer. So you're flattening this. All right. See how I'm flattening this? Okay, then you can also bit up. Just don't touch your halo. Okay. You just want a little bit, not a whole lot. Just enough to give it some, some color going through it. Okay. Now, the other thing you can do is um, you can also go into your angel wings. All right. They may be a little wet, just be careful. Now you can either use your palette knife to do that, or you can use your brush. And if you're going to use a brush, I would use, you could use your 12, but you could also use a 10 flat. And what you would do is you would load your brush, load your brush with the gold, and then wipe most of it off on a paper towel, and then dry brush. Okay, if you feel more comfortable, you can do that, okay? Wipe it off, wipe most of it off. It's called dry brushing. You just add a little bit of glitz, glitziness to her wings, okay? All right, so the last thing we have is her crown, okay? Her little wreath around her head. All right, so you're gonna use two colors. You are going to use where is it? You're going to use a little bit of that castle chalk color, okay? Which I don't have any left on my plate. Sure, I do. Some right there. So you're going to use your liner. 
you're going to come through bit so it's like adding some little bit of gray okay it kind of looks white but it's actually gray okay then what you're going to do is you're going to pick up some of the dark brown which is the burnt umber yes I will show close-up of eyes no problem all right so then you're going to come over just like a grapevine when you buy a grapevine wreath at the store Just keep overlapping. And you know what? These could. I, uh, I didn't put black on the list, but you know what? For that to steam down even more, you could use some black. Give me one second. Let me grab some black. you want the, the thing on her head, the wreath, you want it to stand out a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black. Because it's kind of blending with the hair. Alright, so we're going to come in. To let that dry a little bit so that'll be the back of it and then if you wanted to if you want to come down even more So what I'm doing is lightening up the, the burnt umper a little bit to give it some um, contrast, okay? Because you don't want it all the same color, right? So when you use the black, don't use a lot of black, okay? Just use a little bit of black. Just trying to darken up the area a little bit, okay? Because I don't want it to look like her hair. That's the problem, okay? All right, so that's, I added some, I mixed some burnt umber and some white. So now I'm just gonna use burnt umber. Makes you wonder if they changed the colors on the containers, you know, different shading. I'm trying to get a darker color. So we're going to have to let this dry a second, all right? So then what you can do is you can either use, while we're waiting for that to dry, okay, we can either use, um, sorry guys. You can either use your liner or you can use um, like a paint pen. Just sign it, okay? So if you decide to use a 
liner. You just pick a corner. I always do it like under here. I always use my initials and then the year. Okay, so we're gonna let this hair dry for a minute. Now remember, there is no um, mouth on her, okay? So I'm gonna show you the first one I did. Oh, there you go. Her eyes are really, really tiny. See how tiny they are? Okay, now this time her head's bigger, okay? You're gonna notice this angel is bigger than that angel. So of course her eyes are bigger. Okay, so this angel is bigger than this angel. See that? I don't know if you can see the difference. Can you see both of them? I'll turn them sideways. Okay. Even not going to see them both at the same time. The one I did today is bigger than the one the other day. Okay, there's no right or wrong to this. Okay, you make her however big you want her. Okay, I made her bigger today. That's just how I paint it today. And like I said. Not everybody paints the same way, and you're not always going to paint the same way every time you do paint, okay? I don't know what that is. Got something on her face. So let's see. Do I have any paint left? Yep. I'm going to touch that up real quick. I don't like how her... I don't know what I got on it, but... All right. Large paint trays, large paint trays. This is styrofoam plates. Okay. Water well, this here. This, uh, you can get this off of uh, onestroke.com. Um, you can either get it off of onestroke.com. Once again, you can go to eBay, you can go to Etsy. It's, um, I think it's made by plaid or you can go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels and they have the single ones hold on a second I'll grab one so you can see I think this is the one now the, the double one I like the double one because then I can have one side with clean water one side I just like the double one okay this has one side you can keep clean one side you can keep dirty okay because sometimes you want clean water on one side you don't want it to get dirty oh thank you like the one I just did well thank you um, and you'll see when you go to do this it's gonna crackle don't worry about it okay like that and the reason why it's going to crackle is because the paint is so thick that just happens okay so anyhow this is a water well i don't know if i got this at michael's or hobby lobby years ago um but i went to the double water well okay um i used to sell these in my studio in florida um i don't have any left um if you can't find it let me know i'll try to find it for you okay and then i'll order it and then just ship it to your house Okay, just let me know. Um, in the meantime, you can use a red solo cup. Um, in the meantime, you can use that, all right? So I think that halo is pretty ready to be finished. So I'm gonna go back, I mean, the wreath on her head. I'm gonna go back now. I'm gonna put a little bit of gray. Pretty sure that's what I used. Just a little bit of gray. Yeah, that's what I did. So what you want to do is you can go in, put a little bit of gray going from left to right, like like it's her halo, or her I keep calling it halo, the wreath in her hair. So you're going to be doing little strokes. Remember, you can't do this on your multimedia pad, okay? You can't do the scraping on the multimedia pad. It has to either be on wood or um, canvas, all right? So then I'm going to rinse out my brush. 
and then I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna put out fresh burnt umber because I want this to really stand out I'm gonna let that dry a second and we are just about done guys girls I hope you like this project I'm not sure what the next project is coming up I'll have to look and see all right, let me just make sure make sure I printed my directions I just wanted to make sure I mean I could do this by memory but you know it's been a year so all right so I'm gonna pick up fresh burnt umber on my liner I'm trying to get this to stand out I don't want it to blend in with the hair So you would do little short little strokes now you probably have a hard time seeing that so let me show you on paper real quick okay and what I mean by short little strokes is when you're doing that um, wreath around her head well it's left to right it's not around her head okay let me show you real quick all right all right so you do this just like when we do grapevine wreaths, when we're doing flowers, okay? The only thing is you're gonna arch it more. So you're gonna round it. So by doing that, you're gonna do this. See the difference, how one is straight? This is straight. I don't know if you can see that. This one's straight and this one's rounded, okay? And then you're gonna pick up some of the burnt umber and you're gonna do the same thing. You're just doing little strokes they're overlapping just like when you look at a grapevine wreath you see it's all tw like twine it's like you know like tangled I hope you guys can see this I'm trying to get you to see what this looks like yeah, she used a liner to do halo also. Mm -hmm. And I showed that earlier, but I'll go over it real quick. I'll show you on the paper, okay? Now, say, let's see. Let me find a pencil. Hang tight here, hang tight. All right, so say this is her, this is her head, okay? You're gonna pick up the gold, which I lost my gold. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go from here to here. And then you're going to go here. So it's not really a circle, it's more of an oval. Okay. But you're going to do that after you have the hair on there. Okay. Don't don't do it on her while she's bald. All right. So do you understand the um the wreath, it's like a grapevine wreath look, okay? Yeah, because when we do grapevine wreaths and flower arranging, it's just little short strokes and you just keep overlapping, okay? So that's the same concept on her wreath on her head, okay? So I'm gonna let this dry one second and I'm gonna go back and finish her wreath on her head and we'll be done just trying to get a little more on here so if you do the hair like more blonde and not so much brown like I did I think the first time I did this I did more blonde and I think that's why you can see her, her wreath more on her head. Here I did more brown so you don't see the wreath as much. Okay, you're saying yes. What are you saying yes to? I'm sorry. Yes, you can see it. 
All right, so there's her wreath on her head. All right, ladies. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, I will send out the supply list for the next class and let you know what it is uh, on the clubhouse page, okay? Now, when you have a question about it, just ask me on the clubhouse page instead of on the um, the painting group, The because, you know, I have I have my Coastal Strokes VIP page. The VIP page is for anybody that buys anything that wants to post a picture of it displayed in their house, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what the VIP page is for. Then I have Coastal Strokes painting groups. So that's for anybody that's in my painting, whether it's, you know, here at the studio or just somebody following me, okay? Um, and then the last group I have is the Coast to Coast Creative Clubhouse. So that's the membership, okay? So what I've been trying to do is I'll post this finish tonight on Coastal Strokes page, and I'll also uh, share it with the painting group. So if you have any questions, don't ask in the painting group, okay? Don't ask anything about the clubhouse in the painting group, all right? Okay, good. You understand the stroke for the wreath, good. Um, don't, don't ask any questions about the clubhouse on the painting group, okay? Um, just ask it in the clubhouse. I hope I'm making sense. Um, but anyhow, if you have any questions about this, just um, add them to this video, okay? And like I said, I will. If, when I see them, then I'll try to answer for you, okay? All right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed the class, and I'll talk to you ladies next time. Have a good evening. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. She wanted to see the face. Okay. See the eyes? I think I already showed the eyes, but I want to show you again. So here she is finished. And I'm going to post this on the page, okay? All right, ladies, you have a good evening. I'll see you next class. Bye-bye.